Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Education. Can the Minister inform the House what measures are being implemented at Grant and Mount Gambier High School in my electorate to cater for Year 7s entering high school? Minister. Thank the, uh, the member for the question. And it's a pleasure to be able to talk about uh, Grant High School and Mount Gambier High School. I know the member's interested when I was in Mount Gambier late last year. Um, I think it was in November. Uh, yeah, on uh, 11th of November last year, a bit over a year ago, we visited both high schools. We were able to announce at the time that the Mount Gambier High School uh, had been uh, successful in their bid to be one of our five new entrepreneurial high yeah, schools yeah, around yeah. South Australia. Uh, that's a program that is currently now rolling out uh, and in due course from 2022 will include the Year 7s uh, in that program when the Year 7s are in uh, at Mount Gambier High School. Uh, we were also able to visit Grant High School and we spent some time uh, with some of the VET students uh, who were building a house uh, out the back of the high school and a transportable home which is then able to be sold on and, uh, and uh, giving those students a, a real-world perspective on potential future employment pathways. And it's a terrific program. I'm also uh, very pleased to get good advice uh, about Mount Gambia from a reasonably regular point of view as former principal Gary Costello uh, is uh, helping me out as one of my advisors in my office. When we were in Mount Gambia, it seemed the only person more popular than the member for Mount Gambia walking down the street uh, was Mr Costello, who almost everybody had either worked with, uh, worked for, or indeed uh, studied under, and people were very eager to, uh, to speak to their former principal. Um, Grant High School and Mount Gambia High School are both going to have to have increased capacity, uh, about 100 students each, uh, as part of the transition to Year 7 to high school. Both have capital works projects underway. Grant High School, which has in the order of 800 students at the moment, uh, has a $7 million uh, capital works upgrade, uh, which we released the concept plans for earlier this week. The member for Mount Gambier was good enough to bring the principal, uh, the uh, principal Fleur Roshek, uh, and the governing council chair, Damien Buckley, into uh, my office to have a chat about the scope of that project, and I believe that they're very pleased. Uh, we're introducing additional general learning areas and specialist learning areas, including a science lab. Uh, there's removal of age transportable buildings, some of those uh, very old transportables, wooden asbestos uh, transportables which are being removed. The construction of a new building to house a performing arts facility and general learning areas, the new canteen and a new student courtyard hub with covered outdoor areas for individual and group study. Uh, and that Grant High School project is progressing very well. Uh, the Mount Gambier High School has 857 students at the moment and a $6 million capital works pro upgrade uh, where I believe we're just weeks away from the concept plans being available for that. Part of the uh, work that is of course necessary uh, for these schools to be able to offer a 21st century learning program uh, which the Year 7s deserve as, as well as they uh, will also benefit from being able to receive the Australian curriculum in the circumstances for which the Australian curriculum is designed. Uh, the Year 7-8 program obviously being designed as a high school program uh, is you need to have great uh, information technology and internet services available in a school. And I can advise the member for Mount Gambia that both the Grant High School uh, and the Mount Gambia High School uh, were connected to the new high-speed fibre optic internet connection that the Marshall Liberal Government has been investing in. They were connected on the 19th of July. Yeah, and yeah. so they're now able to benefit already from uh, that high-speed internet connection, but it will be critically important uh, and an opportunity for those Year 7s to engage in the modern curriculum. Uh, TAFE facilities in Mount Gambia are relevant uh, to the uh, students at Mount Gambia High School and Grant High School. Uh, the member would be aware that we've recently released a new vocational education and training uh, policy for our school students across South Australia and they engage with TAFE very readily uh, and indeed we visited the TAFE campus and last year uh, we were able to complete the reinvigoration program at the Mount Gambia TAFE campus and the digital efficiency program uh, at TAFE was, uh, is due to be completed in March 2020 which will also benefit those students at Mount Gambier and Grant High Schools. Yeah. 